I just bought a new router and have this old Linksys WRT54GS just lying around now. But rather than ditch it, I'm going to give it some new life with new third-party firmware. It's pretty easy. I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com. I'll show you how to do it on today's Insider Secrets. Every router like this one has software that runs on it. And what we're talking about is changing that software from the factory default to an open source version. And whether you're replacing your old router or you're just frustrated with your new one, there are a few reasons you might want to do this. My Linksys here can only act as an access point for turning my internet into wireless. Now, the Tomato firmware, that's the firmware I'm going to put on here, will allow it to act as a bridge, allowing machines in my house that don't have Wi-Fi access to the network wirelessly. It can also act as a site survey tool, giving me the strengths of nearby networks and letting me know which frequencies they occupy. Now, in a crowded neighborhood, this can help you reduce interference on your network tremendously. Tomato also has a bandwidth usage monitor. If your ISP has a cap on bandwidth, this is indispensable in telling if you're close to the cap. There are also other features like wake on LAN, static DHCP, and more. So how do you do it? Well, there are many third-party firmwares out there. Some work better with specific routers. Look around at DDWRT, FreeWRT, Tarifa, and others to find one that works with your router. I'm going to use Tomato, which says it works with the Linksys WRT54GS versions 1 through versions 4. Look underneath your router for a serial number or more specific model number to match it up. Then download the firmware, extract it to a folder, Read the README file to determine which file goes with your router. Then connect your router to your computer. Open the router's admin screen as described in your manual, or just look it up on a search engine. Click Administration. Click Firmware Upgrade. Select and upload the correct firmware for your router. Now you're going to want to wait for about two minutes while the firmware is uploaded and flashed. Then it should reload to the tomato screen. Now, Tomato advises you, you may want to reset the settings to default to avoid any minor incompatibilities between the Linksys firmware and the Tomato firmware. Also, probably want to browse around the FAC at PolarCloud.com for more info on how to use the new firmware. That's it for this Insider Secret. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com.